everyone how are you i hope you all are fine so in this video we will uh, study about the natural vegetation and wildlife okay in last video we have already studied that what is natural vegetation natural vegetation refers to a plant community okay which has grown naturally without any human disturbance okay and also we uh, we have read about the tropical deciduous forest sorry the tropical evergreen forest and in this video we will discuss about the tropical deciduous forest so let's start okay so this these are the most widespread forest of india they are also called the monsoon forest and is spread over the region recovering the rainfall between 200 cm to 70 cm 70 cm it means this forest it means the deciduous forest is a most widespread it means uh, you can state uh, you can uh, say that uh, it is most spread tree that is spread in the, all over the all over the india okay so they are also called the monsoon forest okay deciduous forest is also called monsoon forest and also they receive rainfall uh, between 200 cm to 70 cm okay these trees on this forest trees on this forest type said their leaves for about 6 to 8 weeks okay if we compare to uh, deciduous from forest from evergreen we see here that it uh, in the tropical evergreen forest have uh, not not any definite time to set their leaves but in deciduous forest they set their leaves about 6 to 8 weeks in in summer okay on the basis of availability of water this forest are further divided into moist and dry deciduous okay on the basis of what on the basis of availability of water it means the presence presence of water okay the forest is divided into two parts first one is dry deciduous or second one is moist deciduous okay so here the former is a found in areas receiving rainfall between 200 cm to 100 cm okay they receive uh, rainfall between 200 to 100 This forest exists therefore mostly in the eastern part of the country north eastern states along the foothills of the himalayas okay it means this forest present in the what in the eastern part okay and the also northern north east part okay and is part states along the foothills of the himalaya also okay like uh, here some more name jharkhand west odisha okay west odisha it means a uh, Uh, in the place of odisha where is located in the east okay uh, from uh, it is slightly in the west like uh, west i will show you figure in this region the what odisha is located so here we can see that tropical deciduous forest is this color so here this color is already mentioned okay so these are the states where we found the tropical deciduous forest okay like uh, chatisgarh also and on the eastern slopes of the western ghats okay also in the eastern eastern slopes of the western ghats now here teak is the most dominant species of this forest teak is the most dominant species of this forest it means the main tree is is called teak okay so and uh, there are also many trees are available like uh, bamboo sal sesame sandalwood khair kushum arjun and mulberry are other commercial important species okay these are also the most important plant species that is in tropical deciduous forest okay so here the dry deciduous forest are found in areas having rainfall between 100 to 70 okay and uh, uh, before this we read about uh, moist deciduous forest that uh, they receive 200 cm to 100 cm okay and now the dry deciduous forest receive the rainfall between 200 cm to 70 cm okay sorry 100 to 70 cm okay 
So these forests are found in the inner part of the peninsular uh, plateau and the plant of Bihar, plain of Bihar and uh, Uttar Pradesh. Okay, this uh, this forests are found in the peninsular plateau and also in the Bih in the plains of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. They are open stretches in the which teak, sel, people and neem grow. Okay, they are open. What stretches? Okay, so the uh, the trees are available. That is. Teak, sel, people and neem in Bihar. We see that uh, there is a there are many people, see sel and teak neem plant, and then also Uttar Pradesh and also in Peninsular Plateau. Okay, in this area, there is uh, four main trees are available like uh, teak, sel, people, and neem grow. Okay, a uh, last part of this region has been cleared for cultivation, and some parts are used for grazing. Okay. Apart from that, a large part is uh, uh, is used for the what cultivation and also for the grazing. It means for the cow to graze the plant. Now here in this forest, the common animals found are lion, tiger, pig, deer, and elephant. Okay, these are the main common animals that are found in this forest. In it means this this forest. A hug variety of birds, lizard. Uh, snakes, tortoise are also found here. It means a large amount of large uh, amount of also variety of birds, lizards, and also snakes, tortoise are fo also found here. Okay, I hope you understand about the deciduous forest that is divided into two according to its availability of water that is moist deciduous and dry deciduous. Okay, this is all about. The deciduous forest, and now we move further to the. These are the forest of deciduous forest, okay? And these are the thorn forest that is all uh, that are that is only mostly grow in the deserts like area in the sandy part, like uh, in you can also see the Rajasthan, okay? Here the thorn forest and shrubs. In regions which less than seventy centimeter, it means here the before we have already written uh, sorry read that two hundred to seventy centimeter and uh, deciduous forest that received uh, the rainfall. But in thorn forest, they less they receive rainfall less than seventy centimeter and the natural vegetation consists of thorny trees. Okay, uh, they receive less rainfall. Uh, less than seventy centimeter of rainfall, and also natural vegetation. It means the types of tree that present in this area is called thorny trees and here is the figure of map. Okay, these are the uh, color that uh, this color is shows the mountain forest where from Jammu Kashmir. Okay, and so on. What uh, thorny and bushes? Okay, in the thorn uh, in the thorny forest, we see that the forests are present. Sorry, the forests are in the form. Uh, the trees of the this forest are in the form of thorny and all thorny trees and bushes. Okay, so this type of vegetation is found in the north western part of the country. Okay, this forest are found in the North western part of the country, okay, including semi arid areas of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, and Haryana, okay, where north western part, okay, so here, where from in these areas, okay, you can see here thorn forest, okay, like Gujarat, we have already seen, and uh, in Rajasthan. Yeah, the Chhattisgarh are is also available. Okay, here acacia, palms, euphorbia, and cacti are the main plant species. Okay, these are the main plant species which found in thorn forest. Okay, so these sorry trees are scattered and have a long root, uh, penetrating deep into the soil in order to get moisture. Th these trees have the long roots. For the uh, what the roots can uh, go inside it deeply in the sand, okay, and they can get water, okay, in the soil in order to get moisture. 
means moisture is meant the presence of water okay they can get water and get moisture the streams are succulent to conserve water the streams are what succulent to for the conserving water leaves are mostly thick and small to minimize evaporation if the leaves are thick and also small they help is to minimize the evaporation okay so here this forest give way to the thorn forest and scrubs in the arid areas okay so forest give a thorn forest this forest are called thorn forest and also scrub in arid areas okay in this forest the common animals are found like uh, rat mice rabbit fox wolf tiger lion wild ass horses and camels these are the mostly important sorry most uh, common animal which found in thorn forest and scrubs and now and we know that uh, i hope you understand all the previous forest that is first one is tropical evergreen forest second one is deciduous forest okay and we know what uh, in uh, mountain forest uh, we know that uh, mountain it means the forest that we grow and mountain it means mountain areas like uh, in the jammu kashmir area and there are natural pradesh and also in sikkim this color shows what mountain forest so here yeah, let's read about the mountain forest in mountain forest in mountainous sorry in mountainous areas the decrease in the temperature which increase in the altitude leads to the co corresponding change in the natural vegetation okay in the mountainous area the decrease of the decrease in uh, sorry the decrease in temperature with increasing altitude okay if the temperature decrease the altitude increase and leads to the corresponding change in the natural vegetation okay as such there is a succession of natural vegetation belts in the same order as we see from the tropical to the tundra region okay here uh, the there is a succession of natural vegetation in the same what in the same order okay so here yeah, the wet temperate type of forest are formed between a high of 1000 and 2000 meters okay so here the wet temperate type of forest are found between height this one is the height okay so 1000 meter to 2000 meter evergreen wood leaf such as oaks and chestnuts predominate and between uh, 1500 and 300 meter temperate forest containing containing coniferous trees okay this forest contain the coniferous trees that is that we see here that uh, uh, between the uh, 1500 and 30 me 3000 meter here 1000 to 2000 meter are uh, forest of the temperate wet temperate type forest okay now there is coniferous trees like uh, pine deodar silver fir scrub cedar and are found okay this type of trees are found in the mountain forest okay this forest cover mostly the southern slopes of the himalayas places having a high altitude in the southern and the north east india at higher elevation temperate grassland and are common okay this type of things are common that is uh, at the higher elevation and also the temperate grassland are common at the high altitudes generally more than 3600 meter above the sea level temperate forest and grassland give away give way to the alpine vegetation okay this forest give way to the alpine vegetation okay this type uh, this is a other type of vegetation okay silver fields juniper uh, pines and beeches are the common trees of this forest okay these trees uh, sorry in alpine vegetation these trees are most common and however they get progressively stunted okay they merge uh, where 
yes they merge into the alpine grassland these are used extensively for the grazing by a nomadic tribes like the gusers and the back backwards at the higher altitude mosses and lichens from lichens from the part of tundra vegetation okay these are the uh, most uh, these are the also the mosses and lichens which are found in which part tundra vegetation okay so the common animal found in this forest are kashmir states spotted deer wild sheep jackal sorry jack rabbit tibetan and antelope yak snow leopard squirrel saggy horn wild ibex this is the one name okay saggy horn wild ibex okay bear and rare red panda uh, there is also a red panda also sheep goats with thick hair okay sheep and goats are present in the thick hair okay i hope you understand the mountain forest that the forest that grow in the mountain is called mountain forest and also they receive sorry then uh, they are the at the height of 1000 to 2000 meter okay here this one is mangrove forest okay so let's see the mangrove the mangrove tidal forest are found in the areas of coast influenced by tides okay uh, the mangrove forest are present where the tides are available okay so mud and slick get accumulated on such coast tends this type of things accumulated on this coast okay this is the figure of what mangrove forest we can see here the tree have large roots to get the water to get the root moisture okay mangrove are the common varieties on which roots of the plants submerged under the water that we can see in the figure and the deltas of the ganga the mahanadi the krishna the godavari and the kaveri are covered by the such vegetation it means uh, if we go the uh, delta of ganga the mahanadi krishna kaveri and godavari okay we found that there is a mangrove sorry there is the tree that is called mangrove tree okay this one there is the vegetation of mangrove forest okay here now in the ganga brahmaputra delta sundari trees are found okay in the ganga and brahmaputra deltas there is a sundari tree are found which provide durable hard timber palm coconut kura agar etc this uh, plants are also available there okay and also grow in some parts of the delta it also grow in the some part of delta it means the part of delta and this one is some medicinal plant okay here now wildlife is started start so let's read about let's read about the medicinal plant okay here yeah, india is known for the its herbs and species for the ancient time okay some of 2000 plants have been described in ayurveda okay at least 500 are in the regular use the world conservation unions there is a 2000 plants have described by in sorry described in ayurveda okay so red list has uh, named 352 medicinal plant of which 52 are critically threatened and 49 are endangered okay so the commonly used plant in india that are sarpaganda that is used used to treat blood pressure okay it uh, used to treat the blood pressure and it is found only in india and it is also found in only india not anywhere okay so here yeah, next one is jamun the juice from the ripe fruit is used to prepare vinegar which is carminative and diuretic and also has digestive properties okay the powder of the seeds is used for the controlling diabetes okay this powder this powder is also used for the controlling diabetes okay next one is arun sorry arjun 
the fresh juice of these leaves is a cure for ear ache ear ache it means the uh, disease of any ear okay it means the pain uh, if we have pain in the ear called ear ache so just like a headache okay so here yeah. it is also used to regulate blood pressure it is also helpful to re regulate blood pressure blood pressure next one is babul lips are used as a cure for eye sores so and the it gum is a used to as a tonic tonic okay its gum is used as a tonic and also it used to cure the eye sore next one is neem has a high antibiotic and the antibacterial properties antibacterial properties okay neem is the neem have neem has high antibiotic and antibacterial properties next one is tulsi is used to cure cough and cold okay it used to if we have cough if we take the tulsi uh, we get relief from it okay <coughs> next one is kanchar is used to cure as the asthma and ulcers the buds and the roots are good for the digestive problems okay identify more you have here is a question that we have to find more medicinal plant okay these plants are of india okay but there are 2000 species of uh, that is described in ayurveda so it is about the wildlife okay wildlife what is a uh, uh, what is about the wildlife of india so let's finish this like uh, kids flora india is also reaching its fauna okay we all know that flora it means uh, plant and fauna it means animal okay with uh, like its here is written that like its flora it means uh, like its flora india has also and it means Uh, we have plants and animals both okay so in fauna it has approximately 90000 animals species the country has been about 2000 species of birds and they constitute 13% of the world's total okay it consists 13% in the world okay there are 2546 species of the fish which account for nearly 12% of the world stock okay in the world there is a 12% okay it also shares between 5 and 8% of the world's amphibians reptiles and mammals okay in where for what for amphibians reptiles and mammals okay now here Royal tiger Royal tiger is the famous animal in this forest okay which forest the name of forest is not given to also say as here okay let's see Royal Bengal tiger is the famous animal in this forest okay turtles crocodiles gharials and snakes are also found in this forest okay let us discuss i think this one is i think uh, from here we have to read this and after that we have to read the med medicinal plant okay sorry for that the elements the elephants are the most majestic animal among the mammals to okay so so this point is uh, about the mangrove forest that royal bengal tiger is the famous animals in this forest and turtles crocodile gharials are also found in this forest which forest mangrove forest okay so let us discuss this one is a discussion or question okay so we are reading the wildlife okay so we have to read from here the elephant are the most majestic animals among the mammals okay they are found in the hot wet forest of assam karnataka and kerala one horned rhinoceros are also the other animals okay which live in swampy and marshy area okay 
land of uh, Assam and West Bengal. Okay, arid areas. If we want to see this animal, we have to go in these uh, states. Okay, the arid areas of the run of Kutch and the Thar Desert are the habitat for this wild dog, for wild dogs and camels respectively. Okay, in the run of Kutch, we found the wild dogs and in the Thar Desert, we found camel. Okay, Indian Vishen Nilgai. Where is? Huh. Nilgai, blue, blue, blue wool, Kosinga for horn, antelope, gazelle, and different species of deer are some other animals found in India. It also several species of monkey. Okay, this type of uh, animals which are found in India. Okay, and here some state are given where it is found. Now here is a question that do you know the Wildlife Protection Act was implemented on the 1972 in the year 1972 okay which is impl implemented in which uh, the about the wildlife protection okay India is the only country in the world that has both tigers and lions India is the only country that have both tiger and lion but other country have not okay so the natural uh, sorry natural habitat of the indian lion is the green forest in gujarat and tiger are found in the forest of madhya pradesh okay madhya pradesh the sundarban of west bengal and the himalayan region okay leopards too okay there is a leopard also and are the member of cat family they are the important among animal of prey okay so do you know the green forest is the last remaining habitat of the asiatic lion okay for the asiatic lion green national forest sorry yes green forest is the last habitat of asiatic for asiatic lion okay and here now the himalaya however a hardy range of animals which survive with the extreme cold ladakh freezing high altitude home to yak the saggy horn with wild dogs waking Weighing around one ton, the Tibetan antelope, the Vural blue sheep, wild sheep, and the Kiang Tibetan wild ass for for Trungmo and the ibex bear, snow leopard, and rare panda are found in the certain pockets. Okay, these are the animals that are found in India, and also there here is a place is given that where they are found. Okay. So here now, in the river, lakes, and coastal areas, turtles, crocodile, gharials are found. The latter is the only representative of a variety crocodile found in the world today. Okay, there is a variety of crocodile in the world today. Okay, so bird life in India is colorful, like peacock, pheasant, ducks, parrots, cranes, and also pigeons are some of the birds inhabiting the forest and wetlands of the country. We have the selected our crops from a biodiverse environment. Okay, that is from the reserve of individual plants. We also experimented and selected many medicinal plants. Okay, we have exp uh, we have seen the many medicinal plant and the animals were selected for the large stock provided by the nature as much as millet animals. They are also provide us. they also provide us here it is drought power transportation meat eggs the fish provide nutritive foods many insects helps in the pollination of crops and fruits trees exerting biological control on these insect is harmful every species has a role to play in the it means uh, overall it means the animals are very important okay it gives us many things okay so we have to save animals that's all about it okay ecosystem it also helps to control our sorry balance our ecosystem hence conservation 
Exploitation is essential as has been mentioned that earlier due to excessive exploitation of plant and animal resources by human being, the ecosystem has been disturbed. Okay, uh, in earlier exploitation, there is uh, here is written that uh, the ecosystem has been disturbed. Okay, about one thousand three hundred plant species are endangered. Okay, twenty species are extinct. Oh, only twenty types of species are extinct. Okay, and Quite a few animals species are also endangered, and some have been become extinct. Okay, here twenty species are extinct of plants, and the more than sorry few animals species are also endangered, and some have become extinct, like a dinosaur. So here is the main causes of uh, how to control the bio uh, biosphere reserves. How it is important. Okay. So this is all about uh, what are the projects our uh, government have uh, done for the for the to save the plants and animals. Okay. There are many eighteen bio reserves like Sundarbans, Gulf of Manar. Nilgiris, Nanda Devi, Noke, Great Nicobar, Manas, Kutch, and so on. Okay, so I hope you understand this video. Okay, so these are the forests that uh, sorry, these are the wild reserve that is present in India. That uh, red one is for wildlife, star is one for bird, and this one is triangle is for national park. Okay, and Rajgir here. Here is the wildlife. This one is okay. So I hope you understand this video. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Have a nice day.